Number 6. Yantarogecko balticus. About 50 million years ago in what's now northwestern Russia, a tiny gecko, barely half an inch long, was doing what geckos do best, sticking to stuff. One minute it's climbing a tree like a champ, the next it's glued forever in a drop of tree sap. That little accident became one of the most beautiful amber fossils ever found, preserving its head and front leg in high definition for millions of years. Scientists took one look and realized this was no prototype gecko. It already had the whole Spidey Tech setup microscopic hair-like setae on its toes that grip surfaces using van der Waals forces. That's the same trick we humans only figured out recently to make biotape. So yeah, this little guy was using nanotech before nanotech was cool. Ironically, those super sticky feet were exactly what got it killed. Our prehistoric Spider-Man climbed one tree too many got caught in fresh resin and ended up taking the oldest selfie in reptile history. Nature clicked the shutter and said hold that pose for 54 million years. Back then Earth was a giant greenhouse. Finding a tropical gecko that far north proved reptiles once thrived where Russia now freezes. Forget National Geographic slow-mo geckos, picture this one dangling upside down on a pine tree in tropical Siberia. Number 5. The Manoraptoran 99 million years ago in the humid Cretaceous forests of what's now northern Myanmar, a tiny dinosaur a distant relative of Velociraptor had a very bad runway moment. It wagged its tail a little too close to some sticky sap, and boom prehistoric wardrobe malfunction. The result? A 4cm amber fossil so perfect it made paleontologists drop their coffee. Inside wasn't just bone. It was a fully feathered tail with individual hairs so fine you could still see the chestnut brown gradient. No half-finished protofeathers, these were the real deal, like a tiny fashion jacket built for a predator the size of a sparrow. Think mini raptor Cretaceous edition. At first, scientists thought they'd found a baby bird in amber. Then the x-rays came in. Too many vertebrae. Oops, not a bird, a dinosaur. Turns out evolution was in its art school phase, experimenting with feathers not to fly but to look good. Imagine a velociraptor strutting through Jurassic Park like he's in Zoolander. Same predator stare but now with flawless feather coverage. The pattern was countershaded dark on top light below the same optical camouflage used today by deer sharks and the U.S. Army. Basically evolution's first stealth tech. One misstep and the whole fashion show got paused forever in amber. Lucky for us, we got a snapshot of the moment dinosaurs turned into style icons. If it had Instagram, its final post would have read, stuck in sap. Still fabulous. Number 4. The flea 20 million years ago in the rainforests of the Dominican Republic, a flea no bigger than a sesame seed was out for its first blood meal. Bad jump. Straight into a drop of resin. For it game over. For us, a biological time capsule. When scientists looked under the microscope, their jaws dropped. Inside the flea's gut and sucking tube were clumps of bacteria that looked just like Yersinia pestis, the same microbe that caused the Black Death and erased a third of Europe. Even a dried droplet on its mouth was packed with what looked like fossilized plague. At first they thought, eh, just minerals. Then someone zoomed in and said, hold up, are we looking at the plague? If so, that means the deadliest disease in human history didn't start with humans. It had been lurking since the age of giant insects. Evolution's beta test for pandemics. If Jurassic Park was about reviving dinosaurs, this would be its evil twin, Amber Park, Rise of the Plague. No T-Rex, just a scientist cracking open a fossil and accidentally hitting release virus. It's Resident Evil meets Jurassic Park and nobody's buying tickets. Moral of the story, don't mess with Amber. Sometimes what's inside isn't a cute lizard, it's a preview of the end of the world. Nature records everything, including the things we wish she'd forget. If you enjoyed this ride through prehistoric madness, hit like and subscribe, it helps YouTube's algorithm decide we're doing something right. Number 3. The Ananti Ornithes Chick. 99 million years ago deep in the rainforests of what is now Myanmar, a newborn bird barely 5 days out of the egg had the worst kind of bad luck. It got stuck in tree sap and froze in time forever. That moment preserved in amber for almost a hundred million years captured not just a creature but a story, the life and death of one of the earliest birds to ever flap its tiny wings. Scientists later named it Enantiornithes, meaning opposite birds, a now extinct branch of early avians that once filled the skies before vanishing with the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Using three-dimensional scans researchers peered into the amber and found something astonishing not only the bones but the feathers, muscles and even the claws still attached to its wings. You could literally see the tiny teeth inside its beak, a reminder that this baby bird still carried a few dinosaur tricks in its mouth. At first glance many thought it was just a modern bird that somehow took a wrong turn through time. But the truth was stranger this was a born pilot. Even as a chick, its wings were fully feathered and flight ready. Evolution had already given it the tools to take off before it could even chirp. 
Unfortunately, when it tried to test those wings, it ended up trapped, proving that being an early bird doesn't always mean you get the worm. Sometimes you just get the resin. If Jurassic Park ever released a baby edition, this little guy would have been the poster child, half chick, half raptor, and equal parts adorable and unsettling. Its plumage shimmered with shades of brown, gray, and white, the earliest form of camouflage couture. While modern influencers post their outfits online, this one invented stealth fashion 60 million years before humans showed up. It's poetic, really. One wrong step and nature hit pause. The chick became a fossilized time capsule, a baby photo that's lasted 99 million years. If Instagram existed back then, the caption might have read, Day 5 out of the egg still stuck. Number 2. Oculudentavis. Fast forward to the 21st century. In 2020, paleontologists believed they had uncovered the holy grail of fossils, a skull trapped in golden amber from Myanmar, smaller than a hummingbird's and barely three quarters of an inch long. They named it Oculudentavis congri and triumphantly declared it the smallest dinosaur ever discovered, the final step before birds ruled the skies. The fossil was stunning, a delicate dome, huge eyes and jaws lined with tiny teeth. It looked like evolution's perfect handshake between dinosaurs and birds, the moment reptiles sprouted feathers and took flight. Scientists pictured it darting through the Cretaceous jungle like a prehistoric hummingbird hunting insects mid-air. But the dream didn't last. Scans revealed something off those eyes and jaws looked more like a lizard's. Then a second fossil appeared in 2021. Confirming the truth, Oculudentavis wasn't a dinosaur at all, but a tiny ancient lizard that only looked like one. The smallest dinosaur had become one of science's biggest mix-ups. The fallout was infamous. Nature retracted its paper, a rare scientific walk of shame. What once symbolized the bird-dinosaur connection turned out to be evolution's prank. Technically, it was convergent evolution when different creatures evolve similar shapes for the same lifestyle like dolphins and sharks. But Oculudentavis was more than a misidentified fossil. It sparked debates about ethics, since many Myanmar amber fossils come from conflict zones. In the end this little skull taught science a humbling truth, not everything that glitters in amber is gold, sometimes it's just a lizard in disguise. Number 1. The Beetle. And finally the grand finale, a creature that redefines the phrase, if it ain't broke don't fix it. In the honey-colored amber of Myanmar, scientists discovered a wood-boring beetle from the family Bostrachidae. It's less than a quarter inch long, perfectly preserved every joint, every hair, even the spiral-shaped antennae that look like ancient Wi-Fi signals. The funny thing, if you placed it next to a modern wood-boring beetle, you wouldn't be able to tell which one was from the dinosaur age and which one just crawled out of your toolbox. Nearly 100 million years later, this species still looks identical. Evolution, normally the strictest boss in nature, seems to have glanced at this little carpenter and said, you know what, perfect, don't change a thing. While other creatures mutated, adapted, and went extinct, this beetle kept drilling into wood, generation after generation, era after era. Dinosaurs died. Ice ages came and went. Continents drifted apart. The beetle didn't notice. It just kept doing its job. Scientists even fired up a synchrotron X-ray scanner, the kind of machine that costs more than your house, and discovered the beetle had been fossilized mid-chew. Around it, the amber captured an entire miniature world fungus-eating bugs, parasitic zombie fungi called Ophiocordyceps, and fragments of a tropical rainforest that once bordered a dinosaur-filled coastline. In that tiny bubble of resin, time stopped. It's a snapshot of a Monday morning 99 million years ago, a worker on shift, surrounded by chaos but focused on the job. While evolution was out there rewriting the rulebook, this beetle just shrugged and clocked in. Same tools. Same wood. Same life philosophy, work hard, stay small, survive everything. If evolution had a loyalty program, this beetle would have hit diamond status ages ago. Welcome to Beats Lore, where we decode the strangest stories the prehistoric world ever left behind. If a 99 million year old beetle still punching the clock doesn't blow your mind, stick around the next lineup will. We've got creatures so weird they'd make Darwin himself call in sick. Now it's your turn to decide what we dig into next. A. Swimming Dinosaurs b. Creatures living inside, a drop of dew, microscopic nearly immortal. c. Cursed fossils that forced entire museums to shut down. Drop your pick a, b, or c in the comments and tell us why. We'll feature your choice in the next countdown. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Because here at Beats Lore, serious science meets creatures no one in their right mind could have imagined.